Um, I'm going to show you this Dremel, not a Dremel, but if it were a Dremel it would be working in the same, the same way, it's just that this is a very much cheaper version than a Dremel. It has six speeds on it which you control with a little um, circular spinner here. Um, I've found that I can't work past about two, it's too fast for me. Um, but obviously you'll, you'll work at the speed that suits the job that you're doing and suits you. It's a simple on-off switch. The collet system at the end is exactly the same sort of system as I was showing you on the manual ones. No difference at all really. You do get a little spanner thing to make sure it's really tight and tightly in. If you can see the head of this, this is the carving tool that I, I think works best for the job that we're doing, which is trying to make grooves. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you how badly it works for me if you haven't already given yourself a little bit of a groove to work on like I have there. If you just try and follow a pencil line, this is what I find happens. I repeat, this is all to do with showing you what happens when I'm doing things. It isn't to show you how to do it properly or if you're really good at this stuff, it probably would work much better. But this is, this is a rank amateur struggling with kit which will at least give you a clue as to what you might might want to do or not do. So if I try and follow this pencil line it's not very good. I keep wandering off. Every time it hits the bump every time it hits the bump in the wood um, you get a wiggle and a jiggle in it and it wanders off. But it, again, it doesn't really matter. As I said at the beginning, these things, these grooves don't particularly matter because obviously they're not going to be seen anyway. They're going to be under flooring. But it just makes it easier for you to do and a better, slightly better finish if, if you can get it. So cut yourself a little groove like we did before with a knife to, to act as a guide. So there we go, it's plenty big enough to get some wire in, if I can find the wire. Overkill, tons and tons and tons of room. The upside is if you cut yourself a decent groove and a decent wide groove, you can sometimes take wire to that groove and have just one main channel going out. But that will do you, that's the job done. When you lay your wire down in it, just use some masking tape over the top to keep it in there to keep it straight.